shake. Now back to our show. And so this will be my last log entry before touchdown back on Earth. I'm all alone. The rest of the crew abandoned ship near Alpha Centauri in order to catch a later flight back to Earth. The poor stupid fools obviously didn't realize that that flight has a 30-day layover on the planet of beautiful women. Why are they gonna be sorry? Doofuses. Our mission to search the universe for strange and exotic food additives has proven fruitless. <laughs> now I, the ship's cook, am left alone to pilot the ship home. <sighs> I should sleep for three months. If famed physicist Dr. Eddie's theories prove true, the Earth will be completely different when I get back. It will be square. Birds will wear big, funny shoes, and every human being will look just like Prince. Dr. Eddie was a fool. Whatever kind of people await me back on Earth, I only hope they're not as stupid as the ones I left behind. That's all I ask. No more. No more stupid humans. Hurting. Stop. Oh, hey, Bill. You found my coconut. I was playing catch with myself, and I threw it really, really high, and then I couldn't see it anymore. But here it is. Too bad it broke. It must have hit something really hard. Hit something hard. Hit something hard? I'll show you hitting something hard. Ah! You may not want to use that stick, Bill. Oh, really? And why not? Well, Bill, there's a jungle slug on it. Uh -huh. You hear that, Doc? It's them! The humans! They're right over there! Now we have them. Are you finished assembling the launcher squad? All set, Doc! I followed the instructions down to the last letter! Good. Then you may fire when ready. Uh, gee, squad, it looks like you, uh, had these instructions backwards. I'm sorry. I'm sorry isn't going to get us back our multi-million dollar weapon, now is it? No. Gee, guys, I wonder where the missile went. We dinosaurs are doomed. I just know it. Okay, we've messed up our new audio grenade launching system. We will just have to carry on with nothing but our wits and intelligence for weapons. Uh, gee, Doc, doesn't that leave squat unarmed? <gasps> huh? Your evil plan is insidiously delightful, your vileness. Those fools in Jurassic City will never see us coming. We'll rise from the harbor and launch our missile before they know what hit them. If you and the aquatic crew prepare the submarine for launching, the rest of you come with me. My upper lip needs waxing. You hear that, guys? The Thunderstorms are up to no good. <laughs> Just ten more minutes. Ten more minutes. Oh, nuts. Oh, where am I? Hmm. According to this windshield, I'm heading right for that mountain. Good, I... Mommy! Food for three months, water for a year, communications equipment, medical supplies, survival gear. Ugh. Why? Come on, Bill! The jungle slug's gone now! Try to eat my brain. Jungle slug chewed on my head. All this talk about eating is making me hungry. Bill, do you smell that? Smells like someone's cooking something yummy. Food. Cooked food. I think the smell's coming from the primate side of the jungle. Oh, great, the primates. Come on, let's see what they're cooking. Oh, all right.
tonight, but I am not putting up with any snide remarks. Oh, Dal, what have we here? Look what the saber tooth dragged in. Hello, Phil and Schooner. Discovered fire yet? Changed your mind about using a cactus as a loofah? Figured out that Hunter Gatherer isn't the name of a TV star. <laughs> Hello, primates. We were just wondering how your evolution is going. Oh, put a fork in us, Scooter. We're done. Our evolution is finished. Fini. There is nowhere else to go. Now, you two, on the other hand, one can only hope that one day you'll at least grow hair on your bodies. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, go ahead and laugh. You think you primates are so smart, so superior, so advanced. Well, let me tell you something about... about... I, uh, I'm sorry, what, what were we talking about? We smelled something yummy and... making the crepes. A light dessert like delicacy. Could we try one? If I make the mini crepes for you and your unwashed compatriot, will you human filth honor us apes by going back to your old side of the jungle where your terrible and offensive odor will not reach our sensitive monkey noses? It's a deal. That's very kind of you. Kind, Scooter? If I didn't know better, I'd say we'd just been insulted. Yeah. <sighs> now, s'il vous plaît, be gone with you. Thanks a lot. You really are an incredible cook. Say, I better help you out with this fire. It seems a little high. Someone could get hurt. Here, I'll cool it down with this water. No, you fools. That is not... Human scores. Get them. Cross them. Alonzo, saddle up the polo horses. We move. Can't go much further. Gotta find food. Haven't eaten since breakfast two, three hours ago. Someone coming. I. <coughs> Humans, I. I think. It was this way. I shall pop their heads with my mallet. Oh, forget it. They're gone. Let's get back. I've got a bridge game at three. Yes, I'm tired. Let's go. That's enough fun for one day. <coughs> Bill, these crepes are so good and I'm so full and happy, I could just sit here and smile all day. Great. And you, uh, you just do that, Scooter. Just leave me alone. Huh? A human. A human being. What have they done to you? What have they done to... You got out his brain, you dirty rotten ape! What? You got out his brain! Hi, I'm Scooter. What would you like your crepe stuffed with? Oh, I'm... I'm very sorry. I have Jurassic City in my sights. Uranus one. Good, Biff. Prepare to fire. Activate the missile. Doc, that sounds like they've activated their missile. We must bend the missile tube away from Jurassic City. Fire! Now that isn't right. Biff, outside, look! Thunder lizards! Blast them! Something tells me that was a bad idea. Boy, it's great to have a new friend. You're gonna love it here. We'll take great good care of you. You'll be safe with us. Then again, maybe not. Where's our new friend, Bill? I don't know, Scooter. He just ran off screaming. That way. Out there. What do you think you'll find out there, Bill? His... destiny. Well, guys, we saved Jurassic City. And we had a nice swim. And we helped some hungry sharpies. Humans here. Stupider than on Earth. Huh? Oh, good grief. It's happened. They finally did it. The fools. They finally really did it. They made the world a stupider place than when I left. You maniacs. You maniacs. Eat, Lofi. Eat. I'll be right back.
Hey there, Spider fans. Are you ready for some amazing new web-slinging action and awesome wall-crawling adventure? Then you've got to join me, your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, next on Fox for the spectacular premiere of my all-new show. With my spider senses and super strength, I'm ready for anything. So don't miss the excitement on the incredible premiere of Spider-Man, coming up next on Fox Kids.